Hello peeps and welcome back. So today I have a command block tutorial on giving yourself custom potions. Which applies into a new thing that they've added in 1.9, which is custom potion effect arrows. Which is awesome, because then you can do like levitation arrows and stuff. So, to start off, first thing you need to do is slash give whatever username i'm just gonna do at p that's the nearest player potion one zero okay that'll uh... the one is the amount and then the zero is the damage so damage for example is if i had a white piece of wool with no damage then it would just be white but if i had damage one on it then it would be orange so that's how that works and when I click the button, it'll just give me a water bottle with no fix. Then, if you see in the next one, everything is pretty much the same, except for we added this tag, which is curly bracket, custom potion effects, all with capitals, colon, square bracket, curly bracket, curly bracket, square bracket, curly bracket. Okay? We're going to put stuff in here in a minute, but just for now, I want to have just an empty thing so you don't have to type in these little guys at the end and forget. So, no effects because I didn't put anything in the curly brackets. Okay, now you want to add in here, same thing, so custom push and effects, colon, square bracket, curly bracket, and then inside of that curly bracket you want to type in I D with the capital I colon and then whatever uh, potion ID it is so in my case it's 25 because that's levitation amplifier colon 10 however or whatever uh, amount of effect or uh, how high it is or level, whatever level effect it is, and comma duration colon five. So the duration is how long it'll last, and I think it goes by ticks. So this should be, yeah, I think it'll just go by ticks. So I'm gonna make that fifteen. And notice that there's a comma in between all of these, and all of them have a capital at the beginning okay and then it ends off because there will be uh, a curly bracket and then a square bracket and then a curly bracket from earlier so when I click this one it'll give me a water bottle it'll just still be called water bottle but it'll have an effect uh, mine is levitation and when I drink it it'll give me levitation for a little bit Whee! okay now, if you want it to not have those little annoying particles in your face, then you can put ambient colon one with a capital A. And then no annoying particles. Yay! So, yep. That's how you do the particles thing. Okay, now, if you want to add more than one potion effect to your potion, then you're going to need something a little different. So, custom potion effects, then the square bracket, curly bracket, everything from earlier, but after that, then we're going to do we're going to end this one off, do a comma, and then we're going to start another one that has ID amplifier duration and all that stuff and then we're just gonna end it off how we did before curly bracket square bracket curly bracket also I wanted to note that duration uh, that goes by ticks not by seconds so this potion will give me resistance and levitation
Okay. And now, last but not least, custom potion effect arrows. So, the exact same thing as before. So, everything, like all the same tags and everything, see it's exactly the same. Except for this time, instead of potion, we want to do tipped underscore arrow. Okay, so let me get that arrow. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot the sheep and it's gonna get the effect that I put on the arrow. So, see, it went flying up in the air and then he died. Just like that one. Or this creeper. Whee! Bump. So, yep, that's how to do that. Oh, yes. Also, there's one last thing I wanna note that if you oops sorry if you want a splash potion then you just before you put the potion you do splash underscore potion there you go and then you would click it and you get the splash potion with the effects on it <laughs> anyways thank you peeps for watching and I will see you next time. Oh yeah, also, will you please like or comment or just do something that tells me that you want more Command Lock tutorials if you do. Because I can enjoy doing them more than a lot of things. So, please let me know. Goodbye.